Hi everyone, and welcome again to Neville, the go-to place to learn about business, finance, economics, and much, much more. My name is Sever, and in this short video from the Excel 101 series, we'll learn about the index function and how to apply it in Excel. The index function is a very handy and flexible tool that allows you to refer to elements of arrays and matrices in Excel. So here, for example, we have got a 6 by 4 matrix populated by numbers. Those might result from any type of application you might want to do in Excel, and sometimes you might need to quickly refer to uh, some element that you know by its coordinates. So, for example, you might want to re return the third element in the first column. And there are two ways that the index function can be implemented here to uh, solve this task. First of all, there is the general way where you input the whole matrix, the two-dimensional um, array of cells, as an argument of the index function, and then you specify the row number and the column number. So, for example, here our row number would be 3 and the column number would be 1. Again, it's always row followed by column, just as matrix indices work. And that would return 2, which is indeed the third element in the first column. However, you can also apply the index function to one-dimensional arrays, and there you'll need to only specify one coordinate. So, for example, if you select just the first column and then select 3 as your uh, value as the coordinate, it would also return 2 that would understand the specification. And, for example, if we want to return the second element in the sixth row, there is the same procedure that we can apply. If we use the two-dimensional method, we'll select the whole array, then we know that the row is 6 and the column is 2. Again, it's always row and then column. However, if you are using the array method and you select a row, it already knows that the only coordinate you might uh, input is the coordinate of the column. So here, if we just put 2, it will also understand what we want and return 29 as well. And what is also quite handy is that you can use uh, cell references to dynamically code your index function. So, for example, if we want our row 6 and column 2 over here, we can quite easily use the index function and introduce our cell references as our coordinates. So, row in cell G5, column in cell G6, and that returns 29 just as we wanted. And if we wanted to solve the first um, problem this way, we could say that the column is 1 and the row is 3, and it returns the same number. And these are three ways of using the index function to solve many of the tasks that day-to-day -day Excel use poses in front of you. Please leave a like on this video and stay tuned for even more such content in the Excel 101 series.